Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today in this video, uh, we're gonna uh, create a tab bar, uh, which is uh, include a multi view controller. Of course, you can find the source code uh, in comments uh, below. Okay, so let's start our project, but before that, uh, I would like to show you how will be our output. So our output will be uh, one uh, multi-view, uh, actually, uh, include uh, different uh, tabs, uh, item 1, item 3, and uh, item 4 with icon. Okay, so uh, let's start our project. Uh, so we say file new project, single view, and uh, we name it iOS Swift UI tab bar 01. Or tab bar. And uh, so, yeah, we created also we created GitHub for that. Later, we're gonna push it to the GitHub and uh, link uh, you can find link in comments. Okay, so first of all, I'll go to launch uh, screen. This is uh, that uh, screen that when you run your app, uh, just appear for a few seconds and then uh, uh, you know main view will appear okay so uh, I add I put one label here it's not necessary here this part but I do it just uh, to give you idea about this uh, launch screen UI sample sample for example and I make this to be central horizontally and vertically also in the attributes uh, I make font size a little bit bigger for example 28 okay then I'll go to my main story okay so here uh, we have different uh, way to create that the usual way is you can go here and here type UI tab or view controller and drag this and drop it here and so you can drag and drop it in your uh, you know storyboard but I'm not gonna do that I'll do it another way so I select my main view uh, actually I have the already here and then I'll go to editor and embed the in and tab bar control so what this do it's gonna create uh, one tab bar controller for me and uh, push my view to be first item of this tab bar. Then I can make a copy of my view. Command C and the Command V. One view, two and three, for example. Okay and uh, here uh, I can uh, I need to connect them uh, you will see that here with uh, one relationship uh, which is we, we name it uh, segview uh, it's connected uh, you know my uh, tab bar controller connected to this view so I'm gonna add uh, you know connect uh, this to other views as well so, but you know these all use it right now on top of each other so I put drag them out two three okay where is this one yeah here okay uh, so I put one on this one here okay so uh, now we need to connect this to other tab or uh, to other uh, our uh, uh, view controllers so uh, control drag from this area to this one and relationship segue is view controller 
control, uh, sorry, control drag from this one to this uh, view controller and you will see as I add here uh, we will have more and more tab and view controller okay so now all of these are connected uh, to give idea uh, we can uh, name them so I select this one I need item 1 also we can give them image so uh, for image uh, we need to have some image here so I have some image ready here uh, and uh, I'm gonna put them in my assets so let me select uh, three more example settings so I drag them to my assets here and they will sort like this. So I uh, want to show you also this one as well. So I make your add sign 1x, add sign 2x, or add sign 2, 3x to uh, tell my app that uh, it depend of size of orientation show uh, automatically it will show the one of these for example on iPhone small iPhones gonna show this one and on iPad big iPads will gonna show this one so uh, by this way I can have different size so uh, this one is 25 and 25 pixel this one is uh, 50 and this one is 75 it's a uh, kind of good uh, size for icon it's very because it's uh, important to have a uh, proper size uh, for uh, uh, these uh, tab bar icons pictures and now I can uh, name uh, give them uh, pictures as well so I select this one and here I have this one of uh, these picture for example this one info or let me first make the first one uh, there and uh, for second one uh, I name it item 2 and uh, for example favorite or heart and uh, for this one item 3 and uh, image info and for the last one you know I you need to uh, click here item 4 and image settings and here you will see that uh, we have items and if you want to change orders uh, you need to drag them so you for example um, I want to bring this at the beginning so I select this one and then control drag to the beginning it's gonna be like that and uh, we can run it it's it work but uh, I want to I uh, I want to show you that uh, either of this uh, need to have one view controller and uh, then we can control that one as well so uh, first of all I'm gonna give this uh, background color so for example to this one I give green background to this one I give blue and this one gray and this one purple okay and if I run it it work pretty fine but uh, we want to make a view controller for that as well let me show you here you go you will see that this is a launch screen after a few seconds it will go this is because this is a, a simulator you will see rather than that it will disappear in real device and here you will see so yeah, when I tap on either one uh, I will have that view but uh, this is not end of the story we need to control this view. so how we can do that uh, with view controller so we can select either one and have a view controller but uh, for that so uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna add uh, file Google Cottage View of your controller, for example, item one. Item two. Copy that. Item three. And then item four. Okay, so uh, I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna delete that. Move to trash. So these are my four view controller that I can control uh, my four view of uh, tabs. Uh, but I need to make sure that uh, they are assigned. So I will come here and in this tab, identity tab of this uh, view. So I just need to tap on this yellow uh, button or select this one this part and here I'll just say item 4 for this one I say item 2 view controller and this one item 3 and this one item one I believe yeah, yeah item one okay so I want uh, item one instead of being purple uh, being yellow but I, I'm going I want to do it to program by program uh, so I just select this view controller in view did load easily I can say view dot background color equal UI color dot yellow Save it and run it. So you will see that uh, yes, uh, you succeeded. You will see launch screen and my item one background now is yellow. So that was how easy we can uh, create multi uh, view with uh, UI. Uh, tab bar. That's it for today. I hope you like the video. If you like it, uh, please make sure to give this thumbs up. Also, don't forget to be subscribe and uh, get other videos which are coming in, uh, every week. Uh, and if you have any question, please ask in comment below. I'll, I'll be more than happy to help, and uh, you can watch uh, our other videos as well. Have a good one. Bye-bye.